Hearts could put Ipswich top of the table. Here comes Broadhead. Hello, everybody. Welcome along to the vlog. I am about to head to my hometown of Ipswich to watch Ipswich versus Port Vale right in the midst of squeaky bum time, end of season, promotion, tension, hell down in League One. Plymouth sit atop of the table. They are travelling away to Shrewsbury, Ipswich in second. They're the only team tonight at home. That's the game we're now off to. In third place, Sheffield Wednesday haven't been in good form. They're hoping from a favour from the two above them. They head off, though, to Bristol Rovers in fourth. If Wednesday are going to keep faltering, Barnsley are waiting for their mistake. They head off to Lincoln. Maybe Ipswich have the easiest task. And we know at this stage of the season, even a draw can be key in the momentum swinging. Let's get in the car. Let's head to Portman Road on what is sure to be a dramatic night. How is it going to unfold? And here we are finally in downtown Ipswich. Let's just say the contraflow on the A13 was not helpful for a good journey. Um, we're just about five minutes from the ground, walk down the hill. Uh, team news in, Freddie Ladapo comes in for Ipswich up top. He has been on the bench. He did come off the bench to score twice last time out and does have a very good goals to minutes ratio. Port Vale, um, I believe one of their suspensions was knocked back, but still um, probably rank outsiders here and they sat their manager yesterday. Let's get down to Portman Road. It's a huge night in League One. Let's hope it delivers on the pitch. Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to Portman Road. Here we go. Players are out. Ipswich versus Port Vale. Let's see what the League One table looks like after this. Team gone. Nil nil. Here, Port Vale quite happy to just sit behind the ball five across the back. To be fair though, chances fairly even. Ipswich got caught playing out from the back. Best chance for Ipswich actually 30 seconds into the game, the depot glanced wide. Could get nervous the longer it stays nil nil. 15 gone. Half hour gone. Crowd is getting antsy here. The Port Vale game plan is working. They're frustrating there slowing the game down. It's just haven't had the zip in the play yet to work it through. 30 gone, still nil-nil. Not quite the easy three points many people thought this was going to be. Incredible. Having had 99% of the possession in the first half, Port Vale lead is broken for Benning on the edge of the box. It's actually a good finish. Half volleys it low into the corner. It's right inside the post. Walton can't get there. Disaster for Ipswich. Bang against the run of play, but right on their game plan. Ipswich nil. Port Vale one. <laughs> Half time shocker here. Ipswich nil. Port Vale one. Loads and loads of possession for Ipswich. Goalkeeper for Port Vale booked for wasting time. Sucker punch goal at the end of the half. Ipswich puffed and puffed they just didn't have the zip in the play to really work behind a stacked Port Vale defence got more and more anxious more and more nervy in the ground as the half went on and Benning nice finish right in the corner completely silences Portman Road just before half time maybe it's exactly what they need an absolute rocket up if which is us they need two goals in the second half I believe Sheffield Wednesday winning so this is a scoreline that would take Ipswich out of the automatic positions at half time. Ipswich nil Port Vale one surprise surprise there is the equaliser we are less than 10 minutes inside the first half it's been attack against defence again it's a deserved equaliser for Ipswich crossed from the right hand side, I think it was first. It's a great finish by Broadhead. Hits it first time with the right foot. Back across the keeper. Into the corner, 52 gone. The comeback is on. Ipswich 1, Port Vale 1. Past the hour mark now. No change in the pattern of this game whatsoever. It's an attack against defence. Um, 
Ellis Harrison, former Richards player, has come on for Port Vale. Freddie Ladapo out, George Hurst in. I suspect we're going to have more of possession, more substitutions, more nerves as this one goes on. 1 1. Coming up, 75 now, still 1 1. Tensions getting worse and worse and worse. Attack against defence. Is there a winning goal for Ipswich? So just one point by one. Oh, wow. It's a penalty to Ipswich. There was two handball shouts, one after the other. Frankly, I was just screaming for everything. Donna Chaplin's gone up to the spot, but I suspect Nathan Broadhead is going to take this. 81-45 on the clock. Nathan Broadhead is going to take it right-footed. Looks like four steps. This could put Ipswich top of the table. Here comes Broadhead. Yeah! Scores! 83 on the clock. Ipswich lead. It's Ipswich 2. Port Vale 1. That could do it. to six minutes of stoppage time here and I believe Plymouth have just taken the lead at Shrewsbury. Oh wow absolutely nerve shredding stuff at Portman Road. Ipswich 2, Port Vale 1 but they really, really did it the hard way. Ipswich had the majority of the possession. The Port Vale game plan worked a treat. They sat in, they slowed it down, they made it hard, and they nicked a goal just before half time. Benning giving them the lead. Ipswich pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed all night. Nathan Broadhead got one back. And then 10 minutes from time, I could barely look Broadhead from the penalty spot. Made it 2 1 for a time, we thought. Ipswich had gone top of the league, but this title race being what it is, Plymouth won in the 96th minute at Shrewsbury. They just get the job done. I think they came from behind as well. It really looks like Plymouth are up now with three home games now in a row. I think Plymouth is at eight points now. They need to guarantee it over their last four games. Do you know, I think that number is the same for Ipswich because... The goal difference and the game in hand over Sheffield Wednesday. Now, the fixture list gets really tough for Ipswich. They go to Peterborough at the weekend <laughs> and then Barnsley on Tuesday night. So, I would say Plymouth really look like they are that close now. But it is still anyone's between Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday, depending on those two tricky away games. There is a game in hand for Ipswich. On Barnsley, they've drawn at Lincoln tonight. I think they're now six points behind Ipswich. And uh, were that gap to get any bigger, I mean, I'm not saying they're out of it, but that could affect that game next Tuesday at Oakville. Fascinating stuff. I'm too old for this. My heart can't take it. Incredible drama in this run. And if it was easy for Ipswich on Saturday 6-0 over Charlton, it was bloody tense tonight is all I will say. Um, that'll do for me. I'm going to drive uh, through that contraflow again on the A14 and try and calm down. I think it's nearly congratulations to Plymouth now tonight, isn't it? And does look like a straight shootout between Ipswich and Sheffield Wednesday over basically the next two and a half weeks. One team's going up, one is going in the playoffs, we think. Um, if you want to calm yourself down for a little bit of fun, why not check out um, the video I did earlier today, it'll be yesterday as you're watching this. It's my championship team of the season. We'll be following up with a League One edition very soon. Right, I need to get my heart rate down. <laughs> 